Okay, so I do, and normally I do not do this. I don't like to set with powder, especially under the eyes. I'm going to have to today. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, gosh, look how that just makes your eyes look so old. Do you see why, as ladies of age, you do not wear powder under your eyes? That just made it look so old. But hopefully I'll get a little, uh, I'm just going to kind of powder off right here. Um, hopefully I'll get a little moisture back in my skin and that will go down. My eyes are not happy today. By the way, that was M Cosmetics, uh, number four bear. If you still have it, you can't still get it. Um, because, um, Michelle Fine, remember she went through that terrible lawsuit and, uh, she kept the name. She made them, um, I think in the lawsuit she asked them that she wanted to keep the name. Did I really just wipe my nose in front of y'all? I did. It was running. Would you have rather the alternate? I think not. Anyway, I hate that she lost her line because I think it was a really good line. I forgot who helped her make out. I don't know if it was L'Oreal Lux or who did it. But it was a great line. It really was. Now I am going to use my Charlotte Tilbury eyelash curler. And can I tell you, my lashes are blue. This powder made them so blue. So it almost looks like I have on... Um, like I have on blue eyes, blue uh, mascara. <sighs> I'm in a hurry, and yet at the same time, I'm not. <laughs> Clearly. There. Hopefully that powder is going to really help that not to run today. I was just knocking off any excess. Put the. I want to show you up close. Put the metal on your lid and watch, and then a little pressure, and watch how the lashes just popped right up. Okay, it slipped. <laughs> there. It slipped because I have so much powder on, and make sure instead of having any tackiness, that'll just kind of grab. It slips a little, but that's okay. It's okay. So I got all my lashes in there, balancing it just a little bit. I'm going to redo them. I don't know why. Why did I want to redo them today? I think I'm going to use this Total Temptation by Maybelline. I really do like this product now. It works. <laughs> Let it out a little bit. Pull the elbow up. Put this back towards the socket. A little more of a curl. Clamp down a little harder. And up. A wing of any kind. I have a little curl back towards the crease or the socket, which makes you lift your elbow literally to do it that way. Now, what do we always do, girls? I hope you're sitting there going, wipe your eyelash curler with your makeup cloth or a, a makeup wipe. I'll clean. Okay, now we can mascara. I feel like my eye is watering. It does this a lot, and it's poochy right there. So it makes me think my eye is not happy about something. I need to go to an eye doctor. Let's just add that to the list. So frustrating to go to the doctor all the time. I, I feel so sorry for people that are so sick. Well, like with cancer, or what you know, we always say cancer. There's so many diseases and conditions that send people to the doctor, but certainly we know cancer does, and it just it's got to be such a drag. And that's why you're so thankful for the people who are there that are nice and sweet and loving and encouraging. You know, I always see those commercials for St. Jude's Hospital. It's a little children's hospital, and just to see the workers there. And I know it's a commercial, but I don't think they're actors. They could be. Um, I think they really did get some film footage uh, from the real place. It looks like they did, and that those are real workers. Um, and they have the best attitude, but I can imagine you would, because what is more encouraging to an adult than to see the courage of a child facing a, a life-threatening illness? I mean, could there be anything more encouraging than that? I don't think so. That's why it does make you wonder why does God allow that, but then you wonder if that's because God is doing that with those kids, that he's using those children 
and their lives, their little young lives, to set examples for other people and their courage and, and the way that they suffer um, dependent on the Lord is how he wants us. You know, we keep thinking we should just be all well and nothing ever go wrong. And he loved that concept. That's how he originally made it. It was mankind that turned and listened to another voice and caused the fall. And that fall was the fall of man. It was also the fall of Lucifer to become Satan. It was a terrible, terrible occurrence. And, um, as terrible as it was, and, and God should have just wiped out the world, wiped out all the, the bad angels and everything. He allowed everything to continue to exist, but made a provision by an act of the free will, whether or not to listen to God or another voice ever again. And that if you would listen to his voice, come to his son, who was the provision.